and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Rakdos Arist Aristocrats. There we go. We've been playing a little bit of Aristocrats here recently, like uh, Rotation Proof Monday. Last week we played one. And as you can see from the deck, this deck is basically all Rotation Proof except for Fanatical Firebrand. I think everything else, as far as I can see, unless I'm missing something, and obviously the summits, I think everything else is Rotation Proof. So not a bad deck to invest in here. Um, but... Uh, yeah, but yeah, we have a. This is a donation deck here for this specific list, and it has some new cards that uh, that I'm liking that we get to try out. I like how we have like these frenzies in the main deck. I mean, that's just such a great card in all the red aggro decks. I like that in the main deck and spawn of mayhem. Um, not a card I play too often, but can quite can be quite powerful. So I'm interested to see how well it plays up. Um, you know, we got drill bits, we got tip bolts, we have heart fire in here. Um, another card that you don't see very often, uh, like so, like the shocks are over here on the sideboard. Omnixilis, the hate twisted. All right, so five mana, five loyalty. Whenever an opponent draws a card, Omnixilis deals one damage to that player. So the reason why we have Omnixilis in here is for Nexus. So whenever they draw a card, I uh, get to. Um, do one damage to them each time uh so you know if they're just taking like infinite turns they're gonna be taking a lot of damage so that could be, that's a pretty interesting tool here uh to try out uh usually i've used like six mana chandra try to give them an emblem but six mana is a lot uh in a deck like this so i'm interested to see how this uh fares plus we can also um destroy our own creature and draw a couple cards so that's pretty cool too you know like we can we can uh, uh destroy our dread horde butcher and, uh, you know, like we're, if like the Dreadhorde Butcher wouldn't die, we can destroy it, do some more damage to them, draw some cards. All right, but that's our, so this is our deck, Rakdos Aristocrats. Let's see how it plays out. Yeah, so as far as what to do with um, Fanatical Firebrand, you know, like we'll just kind of see because we only know 80% of the card pool that will be there after rotation. So, you know, we'll have another, another set. We'll see if there's like a, a really another really good like red one drop to replace it but if not um grim initiate is another kind of kind of card kind of like footlight fiend that's a one drop um but then yeah you have the gutter bones you have the knight of the ebon legion and then grim initiate like we're saying and footlight fiend between those you can scrounge up enough one drops those are the four that i think are playable right now so spawns double black. Um, keeping this hand basically means we're not casting spawn of mayhem. We're on the draw. Yeah, the the 2Ds means it's a donation deck. So this is a viewer submitted deck list. 23 lands. That's a good amount of lands. Let's give it a try. I think if we had a 22 land deck, I wouldn't keep it. There we go. Yeah, and we just need one hit for Tybalt, and then like a second hit, we can even if we don't get black, we can play Frenzy and start digging. Look at this awesome keep. Had it the whole time. Never didn't have it. So it looks like we're playing Gates. So I'm expecting Gates of Blaze next turn. So is it better to play Tybalt against Gates of Blaze or Judith? I guess it's Tybalt. Oh, Judith can do some extra damage. We'll go Judith. It's... I guess Tybalt's a little better against Gates of Blaze, but if they don't have Gates of Blaze, like this turn, they're like really dead. So it does force them to have specifically Gates of Blaze right now. Plus they also have to have, to have a gate to be able to kill the Butcher, because the Butcher has three. So they only have the two gates, so that doesn't even kill the Butcher.
Hey, Bearded Butte. What's up? Welcome back for the second month. Thanks for that resub. I'm kind of looking like a Bearded Butte right now. Didn't shave earlier today. Okay, drill bit. And... Could see us going frenzies. I don't think I really want priest of forgotten gods. Even though priest getting rid of like a... Gosh, priest is so good against like the ram. But it's so bad against gates of blaze. So it's a tough call. Tybalt isn't really necessary, right? Yeah, we don't really need Tybalt. Actually, we could maybe just do that. We'll go three frenzy, three priest. Kind of hedge a little bit there. We'll call it a day. Ob, yeah, I guess Ob could kill stuff too, like Colossus and and. Uh, yeah, I could kill the really big creatures. I think I'm gonna just go with this though. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't think our games go that much faster than that, but. Thanks, Beer Butte. Yeah, we aren't. Yeah, we're pretty. We're closing in there on the 10K on YouTube, which is awesome. But thanks for the kind words, and thanks for the reset. Hmm. Got our two drop right on top. Look at that. Had it the whole time. Look at that little unicycle. He's got his snacks in his hand. He's riding his unicycle carrying around his snacks. I think those are like some oranges. He's snackrificing them. Getting that snackrifice on. Snacrifice on. It's just the exact same as last game. <laughs> uh. Man, these sheeps being rammed down our throat. Bones drill bit or frenzy? I think frenzy. Really just need like any direct damage. I don't like this harmonious plaza or this crisis. I don't like this life gain over here. Trading two for two. I'll trade Mayhem Devil and Butcher for those. Helps slow our slow that clock down coming against us. All right, pretty good, pretty good frenzy turn, especially hitting the land drop. You know, each each frenzy turn you want to hit a land drop so you can have even a better turn the next time and so on. Yeah, I guess I did cut the Tybalt's for the dr drill bits and if 
that was Tybalt in our hand instead of Drill Bit, that would have been a whole lot better. I I did forget about Plaza of Harmony. I was like, they're not going to have that much life gain, are they? I guess I did forget about Plaza of Harmony. Yeah, Rams do a lot of damage. Ow. So difficult to get through. If they didn't gain life that last turn, we would have had him dead. Cool. Survive, priest. Survive. You can do it. You can do it, priest. You just gotta survive. Yeah, good play there because otherwise, good play because otherwise, Gates ablaze, we would have been able to kill the Ram. Block with three toughness. Okay, yeah, so what happened there? So, yeah, the uh, fungal infection reduced the power of the. Uh, they're milling themselves. The fungal infection reduced the power of. The Dread Horde Butcher to zero, so then it had zero power, so it dealt zero damage. I could play this to kill Rams. Rams are so hard to kill, but they have they have Enter the God Eternals also. Hmm. Maybe we should play Tybalt. I don't know, they don't have a lot of life gain. They have a few life gain cards. Drill bit is so good if we have it early, though. If we can take Ram or take Gates of Blaze, it's so good. Um, we just had it a little too late there. No, I don't think we want Legion's End. I mean, it's, we can take out Krasis and the token they make. Yeah, let's trim some Mayhem Devil. That card didn't... We don't have a lot of sacrifice stuff. I'm not... Come to think of it, I'm not sure if we should be playing for Mayhem Devil. Do we only have Priest and Firebrand and, I guess, Heartfire? Is that it? It's not very much sacrifice stuff. I don't think they have Angel. It looks like they're just uh, four color with not white. We haven't seen any indication that they have white spells at all, so I don't think they have angel. I think they're four color, not white.
Just the same start every game. One drop Butcher Judith. They didn't have Gates of Blaze. No. Cancel. Alright. They had turn three Assassin's Trophy? That's too slow. You're dead. <laughs> they took... They played Tapland, Tapland... Tap land with trophy, so they had they had removal spell on turn three, and they were already dead. It didn't matter. No fourth turn for you. Ooh, one drop, then Dreadhorde Butcher. I haven't seen a hand like this in a while. No, a Boreal Grazer. Uh. So, yeah, go with the Gutter Bones, because, you know, we play Firebrand, they block Firebrand. Ugh. This is a rough start for us. And now this, because yeah, this Elvish Rejuvenator is so perfect against Red Horde Butcher and and basically everything that we have. Get that 03 out of here. No blocks? Do they just know we have Dreadhorde Butchers? So my plan, like, let's say my opponent blocked there. Um, my plan this turn was to, you know, with the th I would have played Mountain, and I would have picked up Gutter Bones and recast Gutter Bones. That's, that was my plan for the three mana. Surprised the crisis blocked, to be honest. I didn't play the Dreadhorde Butcher that other turn because I was I was saying like maybe they would have just attacked with the. If they're not blocking with this Rejuvenator, maybe they would have attacked with it and would have been able to double spell with them. Get 
Getting through Field of the Dead is really tough. That's an amazing hand right there. Yeah, that's that's not a hand that we're probably going to beat. I'm known for my excellent timing. Here we go. I mean, there's, there's no chance for me winning this game. Uh, I guess we have Experimental Frenzy. Yeah, it's over. This is something that... I mean, this this is gonna just be really tough. This is kind of like where we need we need blood suns. Um, that's why it's so like blood suns so rough because it it rotates out, and so completely understand you don't want to use like completely understand not wanting to use wild cards on blood sun because it rotates out. But this matchup is it really is unwinnable without blood sun. Like we'll have like some legions ends, I guess, but. Um, that's not going to be good enough. We need these. We need that. We need these. Don't want this card. Don't want this card. I'd rather have Devil than Heartfire. Oh, Cascape Shift Sacrifices? Oh, right. That's right, right, right. All right, well, let's get these devils back in. I forgot about that part. Yeah, good, good call, good call. Fire. No, no, there's no little Chandra's in here. Um. Yeah, I don't. Has there been any official announcement that says that we get wolves next set? I would be like I'm expecting wolves, but I didn't see any kind of announcement that said that there were going to be wolves. Yep, true. Yeah, mayhem being all permanents, we do have a, a shot. Get in here, spawn. 
This is kind of like spawns kind of like in like the little Chandra spot, a uh, little Chandra spot. Which spawn can definitely end games quickly. This isn't a fight you can win. No, I and there's also that card. You just let me know if you're up for round two. We just gotta see that cool animation again. All good. That little one one. Before there's any life gain. Before Krasis or anything like that. Or they hit life gain lands or... I have eight damage here. I guess technically seven. Oh wait. Nine? Nine. Uh, I should have done this first. Just triple check. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Judith doesn't trigger... Right. The second part doesn't trigger the oh, token. The messier. Oh, well. They're still dead. For us, that would probably be main deck in this deck, honestly. I think you'd rather have just... For us, on maybe even over Mayhem Devil. Honestly. Yeah, they, they still don't have any outs... With having with us having Tybalt out there, um, there yeah there there weren't any outs they could draw in their deck there, so we were good. Um, These gutter bones just may not be useful. No, they're basically is gutter bones better than heart fire? That probably is. We need, yeah, we need to like get like a little bit of damage in first so we can drill bit and everything. We can't have just all threes and fours. Yeah, it'd be the spot of Tybalt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah. I guess there's Tybalt's and. And spawn of mayhems, those could all be those could be frostodons. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a better upgrade because I'd rather have mayhem devil than Tybalt. I was like, wait a minute, that hand's not not gonna win any games. Well, I guess we have to get rid of the land and just hope to draw another land. We definitely want to keep the two one drops. I want to keep these three drops. 
Filbit's honestly a really good draw. As long, you know, we still need this other land though. We had two draws for a land. That'll do. What's up, 619? Well? That was a great draw. Like the, that was a really, really good draw. So I think this, so this is seven zombies. Yeah, Legion's End or Tybalt. Keep this Frost on for gaining life or Drill Bit. Even just get rid of this Krasis. I said Frost but yeah, the Krasis. Get rid of the Krasis. It's always Scry Top. Always scry top. They are chaos. Um, oh, yeah, I did miss a block, didn't I? With the spawn of mayhem. I don't know why I didn't block there. Yeah. Yeah, I did miss a free block.
This one was looking really good for us after that drill bit, you know, like on turn two. This game was won by one draw step. That circuitous route. Our opponent needs to draw either Elvish, Rejuvenator, or Circuitous throughout that turn. Otherwise, I think we were going to be winning that. So they had like seven cards in their deck they needed to draw. Ugh, and they did. Yeah, Crooked Rain, I, I do donation decks. That's what I'm doing right here. So uh, decks that, that people donate to see played. Um, as far as just suggestions... Um, Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, you know, kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, I, I never mind getting deck suggestions. Because I, I do play a lot of decks. You know, I play four decks a day. But um, no guarantees, though. But, but I do always play the donation decks. And with donation decks, you can choose what day and what time slot first second third or fourth you want me to play the deck um, and because basically all all the times are open no I don't think taking scape shift was the right play at all I would rather have taken crisis over scape shift because um, like, let's say even if, if I would have taken crisis or sorry if I would have taken scape shift they would have drawn the circuitous route there to play it. The next turn, could have re uh, they would have like the the crisis, would still be good. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could have, but I mean, the the play was definitely to take the rejuvenator. They just had they had four lands, a crisis, and a scape shift, which is what they had left. That's a game that we're going to win a, a very high percentage of the time, but because. Because they drew Circuitous Route, and then their next draw step was just a land, so that then they actually had the seven lands to scape shift the next turn. Because you can't really scape shift with six lands. So in their, their two draw steps, they drew three lands. Um, which was just which is what they needed. You know, they needed three more lands for scape shift. So that's that's really like we're not really expecting that. That's like yeah, there's not any other series of draws to be able to cast Scape Shift that turn besides Circuitous Route, Land. That had to be the two draws to get Scape Shift that turn. Because, yeah, even Rejuvenator wouldn't have set that up, actually. We're on the draw, and like we're gonna have one mana on turn two. I think it's either Firebrand or Drill Bit, and I'm not sure which one I want to put back. I mean, it could just be Butcher, honestly. No, let's just get rid of this thing. There we go. Yeah, you're welcome. I always like questions. So, yeah. Good questions. Because, you know, if you have a question about the game like that, um, yeah, I'm sure people on there watch on YouTube have the same questions. So, I always like answering them. Blue-white. <laughs> Never mulligan in my life. Right 
on schedule. I've got time. No one can resist the minus. I'm gonna save the Reveler for my last card out. It'd be nice to be able to do the spectacle part of Reveler. <laughs> Plus one to fair is equal to infinite life gain. Yeah, basically. Stop drawing all this removal. So I did this because next turn, like, let's say they, they sit back. I mean, if they attack, then I just keep attacking. That's fine. I would assume, like, they would have just sat back w to my two creatures. Like, yeah, now they can attack to a firebrand, but... Um because then I would have been able to go uh, Mayhem Devil... I want to draw one card. No. Because then I would have been able to go... Um, if they would have sat back, then I would have been... The Firebrand would have been able to kill Dreadhorde Butcher. Trust. And the Dreadhorde Butcher would have done two damage, and it could not kill my Mayhem Devil or my Knight of the Other Legion. Like it. <laughs> awesome, Angry Ben. Yeah, glad you're loving the Sultai Treachery deck. Same here. Awesome. Yeah, that deck's awesome. Sure. Only time will tell. <laughs> there, remember when their hand was just like nothing but chemistry's in sight? They just keep on drawing like removal, removal, removal every single turn. Hey, Jaeger. Yeah, we've been playing some good decks today. Uh, late stream too. Yeah, usually finishing up about now. Draw three. Looking for heart fire. No absorb, please. Yeah, get a heart fire. Rude. Sorry, Remati Reveler, that this is where your tail ends. Don't you love how it's when you are gone, will anyone remember your story? And that's by unknown. Let's slow this down. I've got it. Yeah, I like our Esper deck better, where we were playing zero to fairies. Uh, 
There's one correct block here their opponent should have. But we'll see if they have removal. Not blocking Firebrand leaves them dead to Firebrand this next turn. Oh, Just activating. I've done the hero thing but I guess before. they're not going to be able to block everything here, so they're going to need like, a sweeper anyway. Yeah, I like that, Kaya. So, yeah. yeah, your deck's cool. Oh, zero to fairy Esper. Got any disenchants in here? That shock said drill bit for a second. Look at that, that said shock. Ah. Yeah, said it for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I guess we have these Price of Betrayals. They could take out Teferi. But usually it's not that hard to take out Teferi anyway when they minus and it's at one, one loyalty. Hey, useless Sorka. Welcome to the channel. Hawkeye says hello. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. All right, Priest is out. Boom. A Devil's out. Let me two Devil. We had more expensive cards. Yeah, I need to get my hypo in the chat there too. Welcome. And thanks, Kitty Dexterity, for getting your hypo in there. Always like people throwing some hypo in for our new subscribers. Show them some love. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. I'm glad you're your favorite MTG content creator. All right, let's keep this hand. What do you think, Hawkeye? Keep the hand? Lost your hypo. It's no. Yeah, whenever you whenever you win a game, then the other person can prime day for justice. Whoever wins, the other person gets to choose to be on the player draw. So basically, whoever wins, like we won game 1, so then the other person's on the play. So yeah, even though we were on the play Or sorry, even though we were on the draw last game, we're we're on the draw again. So yeah, my plan was to play spawn. Was attack them, play spawn, but I will lend you my strength. Withdrawing like the two drop to go with the with the drill bit. 
We're gonna go this route instead. Can't quite kill this Gideon. We're trying, though. <laughs> I've fought worse. This is pretty bad for us if they have a wrath. I believe in you, friend. It is prevent all damage dealt to Gideon this like right now. Um Hooray. Don't you dare have settle. Really? Rip off. Yeah, it is Lance for Frenzy, that's true. I would be honored. My assistants are painfully sloppy. Why? Where are all these creatures and planeswalkers coming from? I believe in you. They're coming from the deck? Okay, that's... Good call, good call. My friend is here to help your pain. Alright, well if they don't have removal, they'll have to chump block with Shalai to keep Gideon alive. But, good chance they have removal. We can't target them anymore, so you know I can't like shoot them with firebrand or shoot them with this thing, like with that thing that blocked, you know, to turn on drill bit. That's the easiest block we've ever had. Lame. These things still have hexproof. Oh, right. Just gave Shalai indestructible. I was like, why isn't that Shalai dead? Retreat. Wait, this still doesn't work. Um, okay, come over here. Don't lay right there where I can't see the screen. Thank you. Thank you. Lame. Is 
Stop. I march into battle as your champion of justice. We need heart fire. Prepare for battle. We still have our heart fires in the deck. Those can kill Shalai. Fine then. I'll leave. I'm leaving. Hey, what's up? Really, auto tap? You tapped a, a swamp? I have all black cards in my hand. I guess we don't need to cast the two drill bits. They only had one card. Okay, I'm not that upset anymore. Still watching you though, auto tap. Another day, villain. I couldn't see the auto tap because of where Hawkeye is. I couldn't see my lands. Oh, uh, I should drill bit first. It's too late though. No, it was a top deck setup. Oh. No. Yeah. This deck does have some ups and downs. Target you. All right, we can still do this. Now, now we're going. Devil. Land. No. <laughs> just got two cards that turn. Just a devil and a land. It's about as bad as our turns can go. We probably don't really have that many lands left, though, right? With, like, these settles. No, yep, still got one there. Still got this. Uh, so it's lethal if I just sack the frenzy. Oh, we don't know what's in their hand though. Eh, let's keep playing. They could have removal, who knows. Let's keep getting more cards. Sure, we could have sacrificed our frenzy. I mean, even even I guess there wasn't just only counter magic was the only thing that could have saved them. Like, there's no removal. Let's play more cards. Frenzy's fun. Enjoy yourself and live like a king. All right, two and one. That's oh man, that would have been the perfect one. Oh, I shouldn't have played that Tybalt. That that was the perfect. Yeah, could have sac yeah sacrificed Frenzy for the last point of damage. After you know we hit Mayhem Devil there, and then yeah, sack Frenzy. 
instead of attacking. Like go past attacks, go to second main. And be the uh, sack frenzy. One damage. All right, we're two and one. I know you're you're like why am I? Hawkeye's like why do you why don't you just leave me alone? And I'm not leaving you alone because you're sitting right where I'm trying to look. But Hawkeye just wants to sit up there. Oh, this isn't so bad either. You can just sit right here. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I want to be close to the action. Vampires. Please, no removal. Please. Ow. That's removal. Fight with an ancient vampire. Your lifeblood is sweet. Unfortunately, I can't kill Soren. Five is too much loyalty. Guess I just play this thing. Could go gutter bones remodi. Also, though, I mean, I'm definitely attacking there. Watch your temper. Yep, yeah, Kendis, yeah. This is going up on YouTube. Yep. So yeah, put I put up all the all the videos on YouTube. You don't see Deckmaster? It's it should be up. It tell it's telling me it's up. Wish we could have done just a little bit more damage. But Soren's just really unbeatable. We just have to kill Soren. I, I don't think, I don't even know if we can beat this, but we definitely can't beat Soren at all. We killed Knight of the Ebon Legion. Um, yeah, if, it, if it's for a different day, Bearded Butte, yeah. Yeah, you can tell me. Yeah, like that's fine. You know, not for like that day, like I'm not going to change my tie.
All right. <clears throat> this is kind of tough. We had to just throw away so many resources to get rid of that Soren. Got to get these Legion's Ends. Price of Betrayal is perfect here to get rid of Soren. And what the shocks. They have it. An okay amount of life gain stuff for Tybalt. And the game's probably going to go long where we want Frenzy. Basically, we kind of have to change our deck. Um, so we saw there, like, Mayhem Devil's just smaller than their creatures. So much of our stuff is. Like, Gutter Bones isn't usually worth cards. I don't know. I can't just take out 12 creatures, <laughs> even though I kind of want to. Well, we can't really just do that. Um... Ten creatures. Yeah, it's okay that they have removal. Um, basically, we're trying to just we're just trying to play a really long game with and win win a really long game with the frenzies, which is like the sheer card advantage that frenzy does. So I'm fine with them killing my creatures as long as I can kill. Basically, I need to just kill theirs and stay alive, and play and have frenzy win the game for me. That's the plan. is because yeah like they they should have because yeah expecting them to have removal like they have more interaction i have more interaction it causes the game to go long uh a game that goes long frenzy can take over and so that's the plan but of course we have to have like the interaction in order for that to happen uh, well, a couple things, no ceilings. This is a donation deck, but honestly, I don't know what that Whisper card does. And therefore, I don't really believe that Whisper card is probably... It's probably not very good if I have no idea what it does, because I know almost every card in Standard. Death. Oh, I shouldn't do that. That was bad. Maybe I should have done that. I guess I should have. So I was thinking, I, maybe I should have just played Judith and then Firebrand and sack Firebrand to kill that thing. But actually, that, that kind of works. Yeah, because they didn't. They don't have other creatures. But see, yeah, you see, like they have. They've had tons of removal. You know, cast down, devout decree, legions, and another cast down over here. So they have a lot of removal. And so basically, I, I want, um, I want Frenzy to take over. We just we have to draw Frenzy, obviously. But this is the exact kind of game that we want to be playing. Depart Innistrad immediately. Or you oh come on! Welcome to the family. Ugh. All 
All right, so basically our plan has worked out very well, except for the whole draw frenzy part. That was good. Not as good. Yep, top deck frenzy time. Nope. Frenzy. What kind of auto tap is that? Leave up double swamp. Or it's just going to be a bunch of lands. Wow. What a top deck. Just four lands in a row. Gross. I think our, our plan was pretty good. We saw how controlly they were too. Like they had so much removal. So I, th I think the plan, it was a good plan. Was not executed very well by, like it wasn't executed too well by our deck there. But it was a, it was a good plan there. Yeah, absolutely, Kendis. Yeah, good good plan. Bad draws there at the end. Um, so yeah, about our deck. Um, Spot of Mayhem was okay. I liked it. Uh, Frenzy. I really like the Frenzies. You know, just just like Frenzy a ton. Um, I don't like these Gutter Bones. I've you know keep on playing like Gutter Bone and stuff, and, and Gutter Bones just isn't is just never really impactful. And honestly. As as I've kind of talked about the last the last few times playing this kind of deck, really it, it feels like the worst cards in our deck are like gutter bones, priest, mayhem, devil. Honestly, I I honestly just don't like the sacrifice stuff. I feel like the like the sacrifice theme is just like <clears throat> it's sad. I mean, I I really like priest as a card and I love what it can do, but just overall it's just very slow and very fragile you know it's just a one two and just, i don't know this never really works um you know because yeah like that's what it, let's see so another option that i've that i've liked kind of more but a, a very similar kind of deck Honestly, like like with this deck, the gutter bones are the worst card in this deck. But the same kind of thing, going like Knight, Rotting Regisaur, Frenzy, just going with like very good quality cards with Knight, Butcher, Regisaur. Um, the gutter bones probably should go for like other two and three mana stuff, maybe another Judith or two or, or some other stuff here. But the same same kind of deck... Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if you need to, to to go that hard of of, um, playing a bunch of different one drops because of Legion's End. 
I don't think that's really a consideration you necessarily need to make. I think that you want to play your your best cards that you can. And if you have a a game where where Legion's End gets multiple multiple creatures, you know, that that just happens. But, you know, the vast majority of games that you play, you're not going to play against Legion's End. You know, whether your opponent's not playing black or even if they are, do they have Legion's End in their deck? And then even if they do, do they draw Legion's End? So I don't think that's, it's the kind of thing of like, if you can, like if you have like two cards that are basically equal, then splitting them up is good. But if you have a card like Knight of the Ebon Legion, that's a whole lot better. You should probably just be playing those. Um, yeah, Steamkin. Yeah, I could have played Steamkin. But anyway, uh, Drill Bit was good. Tibalt was pretty good. Hardfire wasn't so bad. I mean, really, our, our power, Dreadhorde Butcher... Firebrand was awesome. Firebrand, Dreadhorde Butcher, Judith, those cards were all awesome. Um, I'm not sure the price of betrayals over like elder spells. I don't know. Price of betrayal is awesome against Soren. Really good against Soren. But there's not a lot else in the format that I really want price of betrayal. I mean, well, like obviously like Narset and, you know, like the little planeswalkers like that, but when you have like elder spell that because like price of, the problem is price of betrayal doesn't kill nissa doesn't kill tamio like they tick up right away yeah a lot of people have are having like good good uh conversations and feelings here um But yeah, there we go. All right, so that's Rakdos Aristocrats. So if you're watching later on YouTube, um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Let me know. Let me know in the comments um, what you think of this kind of deck uh, and everything. If if you like, if you think that Rakdos should just be more aggro with like like that other aggro deck that I showed, or if you do you like Priest and Mayhem Devil and and everything like that, like what do you think about those? Um, but yeah, uh, also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching Rakdos Aristocrats, and I'll see you for the next video.